Hello everyone, I am Leon Grace Lamberta from BS Chemistry 1H1. And my name is Alexis Puno. This is our performance innovative task for Inorganic Chemistry 1. Our topic tackles about the exceptional electron configuration of the element ruthenium. Our professor Sir Nunil Mark Ake once said, And also we have here very very unusual electron configurations that even if they do not have field or have field stability, they are still exhibiting unusual electron configurations. Very unusual. Okay. And I cannot even explain why this is the observed electron configuration, but mugina siya. Okay? And so that's what we're going to do. After hearing our professor say that, Alexis and I got very curious about the reason behind this very unusual electron configuration. And so we decided to feed our curiosity as we further research about the element ruthenium. Let us first talk about ruthenium itself. Ruthenium is a rare hard, brittle, silvery transition metal with the symbol RU and atomic number of 44. According to our research, it is not affected by air, water, and acid, but it is dissolved by molten alkalis. Moreover, it is a polyvalent hard white metal which belongs to the platinum group and is in group 8 of the periodic table. The name of this element itself derives from Rodinia, the Latin word for Rus, a historical area that included present-day Ukraine, Belarus, Western Russia, and parts of Slovakia and Poland. In 1825, Gottfried Osan in the University of Dorpat, now Tartu, on the Baltic, investigated some platinum from the Ural Mountains and reported finding three new elements which he named Uranium, polynium, and ruthenium. Ruthenium was then confirmed as a new metal by Karl Karlovich Klaus in 1840 at the University of Kazan after extracting and purifying the said metal. Now let's talk about the electron configuration of ruthenium. The full electron configuration of the element is this. As you can see, it ends with S1 rather than S2. All the other elements in the group 8 of the periodic table has two electrons in the outermost shell. In ruthenium, however, it only has one electron on its outermost shell. This anomaly can also be observed in the neighboring elements like copper, silver, gold, palladium, chromium, and molybdenum. As we observe, ruthenium does not follow the strict off-bow electron filling order. According to the off-bow principle in our discussion, we must start in the lowest energy orbital in filling it. So, by the standard rule, electrons would fill 5s2 and not 1 before anything in D sublevel. As a consequence, the standard electron configuration of ruthenium should be this. It should end with 5s2. However, according to Sir Carr, the electron configuration does not simply follow the Aufbau principle or modeling rule in heavier metals. Relativity takes place as the velocity of 1s electrons increases. Electron-electron interaction is also a major factor in determining the ground state configuration. Electrons occupy orbitals based from the alpha principle in order to obtain greater stability. As a result, if the electron configuration of ruthenium is Kr4d6, 5s2, it will show that in 4d6 and 5s2 orbitals that there are 4 paired electrons and 4 unpaired electrons. Meanwhile, if the electron configuration of ruthenium is Kr4d7, 5s1, it will show that in 4d7 and 5s1 orbitals will have four paired electrons, one half-filled orbital, and three unpaired electrons. Therefore, 
we conclude that KR47 5S1 has higher stability than KR46 5S2. According to the study of Meek and Allen, the electron configuration of many atoms that does not satisfy the Madelung rule can be explained through the minimum energy configuration determined by the Dirac hyper hartree fock equation. Eight of the ten anomalous configuration can be explained by the resulting non-integral occupation of ns and n minus one d orbitals. All four d and f block atoms whose singly charged cations result from the loss of n minus one d electrons rather than ns electrons are shown to have n minus one d rather than ns as their highest occupied energy levels. And that concludes our topic of finding out why ruthenium has an exceptional electron configuration. Once again, this is Alexis Puno. I am Leon Grace Lamberta. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. That's all. Thank you.